Google has no flights listed for tonight. We're just gonna drive our butts to the airport and say, what flight can we get on tonight? Okay, I'm scared. I'm ready. Oh, we're not next to each other. Wait, what? We made it! People have died here. Many. Just putting that out there. This is really out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Already this hotel feels uh, way less haunted. I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Okay, so we're currently at the hotel of our undisclosed location, and I just want to say that this video is sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. I thought we were disclosed. No, because this is before the video is starting. Close that. Oh, fuck. Okay, so this video turned out to be very expensive in Dollar Shave Club. They came through with a sponsorship. Today, we're most importantly talking about their shave starter set that you can get right now for only $5. It comes with all of these beautiful razors, the shave butter, and the executive razor. You clip it in, you pull it out, you whoosh. This razor is honestly so good that I could go like this without any shave butter. When I first started shaving, I would cut myself like all the time. And with this razor, because it's so nice and delicate, I never cut myself. They also obviously have their oral starter set, shower set, as well as deodorants and antiperspirants. And this isn't just good for beards, my friends, ladies. It can help you with your legs and your pits if you want as well. If you don't <laughs> shave your armpits, no judgment, but it's a great razor. You can get the shave starter set for for five dollars at dollarshaveclub.com backslash Ryland. Now, on with, whoa, the video. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Hey you guys, good morning. All right, so today is shaping out to be uh, quite the interesting one because Morgan was over here earlier today and we were thinking of different video ideas and she was like, well, why don't we just go on a vacation? Which then turned into the dark controlling the vacation video idea, which I'm very aware that Julian Solomita has a whole series where I believe he originated this idea called Last Minute Trips. So I will link all of that down below. Since summer is coming to an end, I I thought, well, why not do something summer-y? Because Shane over here, he doesn't like to travel. I can't get him to go anywhere with me. What? Are you leaving? Well, I think you're gonna be editing. You're gonna get to edit your video without me being annoying, asking for attention all weekend. I don't like this because I don't like when you leave and I'm alone because I'm scared of what's happening. If you die, I'm gonna kill myself. And that's very unhealthy and I'm aware of that, but I can't do this alone. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have travel anxiety, like I can't do it because you hate it so much. Also, I'm just letting you know, I don't know what your angle is, but there's definitely a booger in your nose and I don't know if they're seeing it, Wait, no, has it been here the whole time I've been filming? I can't, don't do it around me. I know there's nothing worse than watching like oh a vlogger oh vlog or introduce their video with some <laughs> thing up their nose. So oh, if there was- How do people not feel it? Like how do they not feel it? Oh my God, okay, get on the plane. <laughs> I'm kidding, don't leave me, I'm scared. It's still there, oh my God. It literally has its own hand. <laughs> It has its own face. <laughs> okay, okay. I asked Morgan if she could get it. Now I'm self-conscious about it's the booger. Well, you have to go okay, hold on. Let me look. It's crazy. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Please leave the room. I can't. <sighs> it was a little bit oh crazy. My god. Oh my god. I'm like shaking. <laughs> you don't strike me as a person that would hate boogers. I am fine with everything gross, like shit on my face. I don't really care. But like boogers, I can't even say the word. No. I think it's the childhood thing. There was a lot of boogers in my childhood, a lot of them being rubbed on me. It, it was a whole thing. Guys, check it out in my book. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's currently 3.12 p.m. and I want to get on a flight today. I don't know how late planes typically go, but I don't even have a map or darts. And Morgan, I just texted her. She said, I'm in. Let's go. What does that mean? Are you going to leave? What plane are you going to get on? What airline is it? Is it a Boeing 737 MAX? I need to know and all these things because I'm already freaking out. <laughs> well, I hope that my animals will survive me not being home for a while. But I got to go to Target and get a map and then we'll check back in, try to book a flight, and let's go on an adventure. The non-adventurous person trying to take an adventure. Ugh. Hello! Oh my god! Are you ready for our mystery vacation? 
Yes, I have high hopes that it's gonna be Tennessee. Ooh! Or Georgia, I've always wanted to go to Georgia. Or Colorado, because then we can just hang out at home. <laughs> and it's <laughs> familiar land. Whoa! I was pulling out of my gate, because it's a gated apartment. Not that it's like fancy, but it just is. And <laughs> I like have seen him before, and he looked at me and he was like, and I was like, <laughs> Rude. Did you cut him off or something? No, I was coming out of the gate and I guess I didn't wait long enough to look left and right. I got a US only map because A, my passport's expired, but B, I'm not trying to get crazy and go international yet. I mean, maybe if we were to ever do this again, we could go international. <laughs> well, this has been on my list, but I gave it to you because I didn't want to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> my hope is that it's somewhere we've never been before, but somewhere that's like summer-ish. Like, <laughs> Clothes. Yeah. Oh, Did you not bring a swimsuit in case? I mean, I could buy one, I guess. Can you hold this? Wait, you're gonna hold it and throw a dart? Wait, so oh, I'm assuming that Shane's not coming. <laughs> oh, no, I wish. If you I guys throw a dart at the Taco Bell down the street. <laughs> <laughs> I would say like I'm not spontaneous, but Shane's even less spontaneous. I'm definitely the least fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bought a golf cart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that's why I had to start dating somebody that was fun because like, I would just be like, scheduled and miserable and boring my whole life if not. Mm, okay. You sound like you're really fun to go on vacation. Yeah, have fun guys. Because there's three darts, I think that each one of us gets to take a throw and we get to choose out of the three. Okay. If I could get these off. Ow. This is like really difficult. Oh. How far back do you think we need to throw this from? Three, two, one. Oh, Nebraska. <laughs> wow. Why? Not just Nebraska, Highness. Nebraska. Holy. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, You guys are going to space! <laughs> Shane gets a throw. <laughs> okay, do I get another throw? <laughs> Depends on where Shane lands. I'm trying to think of like a safe place, somewhere where there's not like the storm, also somewhere where there's not like a lot of the scary <gasps> things going on. I need mean, you safe. Like Arizona! Oh, I was just thinking that I get Arizona. Wait, I closed my eyes? I mean, I was aiming and did not get where I wanted. Nebraska? Same. Not that I have anything against Nebraska. We're not, don't have Nebraska cancel us. I can't do another cancellation. <laughs> no, it's just like when I'm choosing a vacation. I'm sure living there is great. Canada! Oh. All the stars are aligning for Canada. <laughs> well, no, you two have to go again. Okay, I'm gonna do all three. Then, all three? Yeah, and this is gonna be, is you're gonna do a road trip. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa, that's actually really fun. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. I wanted Idaho. Idaho? <laughs> We're going to Idaho. I want you guys safe. I'm scared. I'm triggered. There's always Twitter moments of bad things happening, and I'm not trying to have... I can't do that. You know, I can't do that. My thought is Idaho. Like, sounds safe to me, right? Has anything bad ever happened in Idaho? I don't know, do they have tornadoes? Well, so. isn't the point of this that it's not somewhere that we would pick? Well, yeah. yeah. So we would never go there without the dark. <laughs> right? Idaho might be everything. Idaho doesn't get enough shine. Idaho is idaho conic. <laughs> I don't know. So let's spin the wheel. Oh, and, and ask if we should go to Idaho. What if I find the love of my life in Idaho? Ooh. Well, wait, what's the question? There's Are we going questions. to Idaho? Should you go to Idaho? <laughs> Reorganize. Oh, Back to the darts. Okay, like I said before, I am not spontaneous. I am very much so a Taurus, and I like structure and I like plans. And out of all of the places that we hit on the map, there's zero flights to tonight. I was like, well, if we do it tomorrow, then that's kind of like pointless. The whole point is to like go on a spontaneous adventure. So now I think the plan is for me to still pack since Morgan's already here packed as well. And we're just going to drive our butts to the airport and say, what flight can we get on tonight? This is turned into airport chooses our vacation. <gasps> we are actually doing it. Okay, we're leaving. But, 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 oh, but, 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 what if you just stay? At this point, I can't give up. I gotta learn to be a little 
more spontaneous and just go with the flow. Okay, I'm scared. <gasps> Where are you going? We don't know. But, okay, but what if? But you're gonna text me every hour and FaceTime me and send me pictures and let me know everything's okay. And... My things are in the car. <laughs> you're gonna keep my dog safe and my cat, Cheeto. Oh my God, we're the dart. It's in LA. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly we just go camping in the backyard. I mean, Ooh. I did get a tent. <laughs> Next week on my channel. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. Google has no flights listed for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I'm afraid. Oh, I gotta Whoa. drive. I'm afraid it's because tomorrow's the start of a new month. Yeah, because I frequently book flights the night of around this time. Yeah, so and there's always something. We're flightless travelers right now. This is a very me thing to do. Oh, and not me. I'm like panicking. <laughs> yeah. I hate this. I'm miserable. I think if, well, I think we're having fun. God what? knows where we're gonna end up. Jane texted us that the wheel has spoken. It says, today. LAX, if you have never been before, is broken up uh, in terminals by airlines. So we're gonna have to select the airline that we have the most hope for to walk into that specific terminal. I vote United just because I've taken so many night flights with them, so I know that they have them. If we can't find a flight, where are we gonna drive to? Colorado. <laughs> no, uh, that's too far. My driving maximum is six hours. In my driving vicinity are Vegas, Arizona, and I've never been to, uh, what is that island? By Catalina Spain? Island. Yeah, Catalina Island. I mean, I would go to Arizona. I've never been. I literally brought all pants and like long sleeves, but it's I can summer deal with it. in all of the United States. All these cars are driving zero miles an hour. I'm gonna lose my apples. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I love you. Do you have your stuff? Oh my gosh, the sunset's so pretty. I'm ready. Arkansas. <laughs> Here we go. Well, worst case scenario, we got an airport photo shoot. <laughs> oh my god! I realized that I wore my fucking gym shoes! I'm so triggered! I I had planned to swap out to my cute Damn, shoes. So 50-year-old dad, like I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. I thought that you were choosing. <laughs> and now when I wear like my cute summer outfit in our like undisclosed location, I'm gonna have my ugly gym only shoes. undisclosed because we don't know what our location is. This is Tragic. Shop. Oh gosh, I'm tripping. They really do a lot for you athletically. <laughs> now, <laughs> we just have to pray and hope and wish that there's going to be a flight that we can get on tonight. tonight. Soon, hopefully, because I have a headache. Yeah, we need food. Hello, good. How are you? Well, we technically don't have a flight, and we're wondering if there are any flights that are departing tonight. We're just looking for an adventure. What about like Idaho, Oregon, yeah, Seattle? Have, I have a flight to Seattle departing 10.35 by getting in at 1.29 a.m. That's three hours from now. What, what about, about Portland? Like, we missed the Portland flight by like 20 minutes. And that's where I really wanted to go because I've never even been close to Portland. Yeah. I've been to Seattle, but for a work trip. So I've never actually got to explore. We're embracing the culture. I've heard it's like a very artsy place. We can get outfits and have an Instagram. <laughs> oh, we're not next to each other. Wait, what? No, I don't do good on flights, not next to someone I know! Oh yeah, we are, yeah we are. They missed me. So I guess we're going to Seattle. I need to start Googling hotels. Oh I, yeah, we have nowhere to sleep. I'm assuming instead of booking something, I'm just gonna like find the one I like the most and we're gonna rock up there and say like, do you have anything available? <laughs> this is so fun. I told you this would be fun. Well, yeah. He was a cranky old man and I was like, it's gonna be lit. The cranky is, I was like going to the airport without having a destination in mind. That's like, <laughs> some kind of crazy. What's so interesting and fun about it is that I didn't have any like build up to like, oh, I have to travel today because yeah, surprise, true. all of a sudden I'm traveling. And we don't have like outfits planned or anything. Like it really no. took away the pre-trip stress. Woohoo. Dab. Airport back around. Hi. Hi. 
Thank you. <laughs> There's some kids on this play. We gotta go to the Space Needle. We were just thinking about that. It's probably gonna be raining. No, it's the it's, middle of summer. I guess like 90% of the time it is. I heard Seattle has the highest depression rate in the United States. <laughs> Seriously. It's so rainy all the time. Yeah, it's actually supposed to be sunny in Seattle while we're there and mid 70s to 80. Perfecto. We haven't eaten all day, so it's gonna get us late. Oh yeah, we're gonna be fired up up here. <laughs> to infinity and beyond. Okay. <laughs> sure. Feeling a little delirious. The nice flight attendant told me that there's no food on this boat. <laughs> yeah, there's no food. You can get a cheese box. <laughs> to buy and then the other thing is that there's no wi-fi and i'm not trying to be like a debbie downer over here but i forgot my airpods so i have nothing to do i was like you think i'm gonna entertain myself with her i know <laughs> i brought my airpods sucks to me oh, we have salami in a bag crackers spreadable cheese almonds coffee candy and chips Seattle Airport, everybody. Okay, so we just made it to downtown Seattle. This does not feel promising that they're gonna have any room. <laughs> no, it's especially what? Memorial Day? It's Labor Day. <laughs> oh, okay, it's Labor Day weekend. It's now what, like? Which is also <laughs> not the beginning of fall. Literally anywhere that will take us at this point is where we're gonna stay. Cut to you literally having to <laughs> Right here, we're next to like all of the things. There's a Ferris wheel right in front of this hotel. There's a nice fireplace in here look at all of the lights booze this is where men come to cheat on their wives for sure oh my god <laughs> they have completely sold out for the night and then every hotel they also recommend is completely sold out as well so now we're just like calling every hotel because it's a holiday weekend and we planned our trip tonight hi i was wondering if you had any available rooms for tonight okay thank you <sighs> I called nine hotels, hotels and I finally found one. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope it's cute. Okay, so we ended up at the Fairmont, which is like, uh, I would say like a grandmother hotel. Not that it's like not nice. It's just it's spooky vibes for sure. It's spooky, but this floor, <laughs> this floor like feels the, renovated with yeah. like the marble. I need to show them like the outside or the check-in. Yeah, I think the Yelp pictures are definitely from up here. <laughs> because the lobby is bougie for your like 70 year old grandma <laughs> who's like let's go on vacation yeah. to the Fairmont. I love how we're across from a door that doesn't have a doorknob. That is the scariest thing. Ooh the big reveal. We don't know what's happening. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Why? A little muffin top bed. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it has a muffin top. Or the bed so high off the floor. <laughs> really, quaint. it it isn't not nice. Well, I could live it up in here on the muffin top. <laughs> okay, I literally just stepped in like wet water on this floor, but that's weird because this hotel room. I mean, it had to have been cleaned a long time ago because it's. 1 a.m. Now I'm like, what could possibly be wet in this room? And then there's an orange, like, wet thing down there, too. So I'm kind of just like a little shooky. I'm not saying that this hotel room is not nice. No, it's nice, but they really scammed us from the expectations of the Yelp photos to IRL photos. Hi. <laughs> I'm Googling deaths at the fair. <laughs> no! Oh my god. There has to be so many. Man jumps to death from downtown Seattle Hotel in the Fairmont. Great. So it's definitely haunted. People have died here. Many. Just putting it out there. I got an instant chilling haunting vibe when I got here. <gasps> okay, everybody. It is currently 1.17 a.m. We're in bed and we're about to slumber. Well, like we're in separate beds. <laughs> <laughs> that was the weirdest disclaimer ever. All I know is that I can feel a demon literally. <laughs> 
If I, if a ghost attaches themselves to us at this hotel, I swear to God, I'm gonna be so livid. I do not need something coming home with either of us. No. Shane's not available for any ghosts. Not here, Mr. Fairmount. When they start like tugging on your feet all night. Oh no, I'm hightailing it out to just okay. Shane's so calling me. I gotta go. Good night, everybody. Good night. Oh no, I hit decline. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> like waking up to cement. Cinder blocks. Seattle day one. Yikes. <laughs> No, the thing is, this hotel like is bouge. It's just like a different kind of bouge. All doors bouge. Entryway bouge. Okay, but what's gonna trip you out right now is this building in front of us. It's like normal building, normal building. What? Why is it like that? It's completely absurd. I know. I would never work in that building. You couldn't pay me enough to work in that thing that's about to fall. Oh. So the lady at the hotel told us that we needed to try Biscuit Bitch, which I was seeing pop up all over the map, but apparently it's like this Seattle restaurant that somewhere we have to be at. And there's a billion people outside for eight in the morning. <laughs> well, we are at the most touristy location in Seattle at the, well, oh, really? one of them, yeah, like Pike's Place Market, that's like it. Ooh. We just walked past it. Oh, we just walked past it. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to be star struck. Oh, I'm <laughs> struck. One is and that is you. Oh my god, that is me! This is Cracked nuts. Energy. It's 8 a.m. and they're like fizz bumping music in there, but also they disguised the restaurant with like Cafe Leo so we couldn't find it. In there, they're like, okay, bitch, take this receipt to the bitches up front. <laughs> the coffee lady was aggressive. She was like, wake up, everyone. I do this every morning. Get over it. But like super fun, like playfully bitchy. This is the I wouldn't even be up by now. <laughs> no, this is like madness, but because we're on vacation, I'm living for it. Yeah, we're living it up. 15 minutes later, we got the goods. <laughs> we're like 50. The cold this room slaps. has hit. <laughs> we all know that you fall frequently. This is not normal. This is a high incline. It's like pretty straight up. Yeah, where's the elevator? Seattle's really showing off right now. First impression. Unboxing. Ooh, there's no way that this doesn't go straight to your inner thighs. Very oh fat to me. Very thick. Mm. Mm. Let me see inside of her. It's like a glorified McMuffin. <laughs> Smelling it, it smells like the in and out sauce. Yeah, On a breakfast. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. The cheese. It's literally, I would give it like a seven or eight. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's. I mean the biscuit's really good. Yeah. The sauce is literally in and out sauce, which is throwing me off a little bit. Yeah, because it's like a bread. <laughs> I think if I would have never had in and out I would have like bumped up my rating, but now I'm like a little conflicted <laughs> with the taste palette. If you've been watching my vlog since the very beginning, I was in this exact location with my friend Drew and I just thought it was so crazy that I'm back again, but this time with my sister and it's like a few years later. I need him for our front yard. All right, so we're leaving the Fairmont because- Oh, I, I need to make sure I didn't leave anything. <laughs> I want a better view of Seattle than just- The gutter. The gutter. <laughs> not I mean, this hotel isn't bad. Like, no, it's not. It's actually like pretty it's nice. It's kind of expensive though. Wow. Hi, Blosh. Ah! Okay, oh so oh my God. I don't know. <laughs> I got Lime bikes and we're gonna ride them over to the Space Needle. Wow. This is really out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna be able to vlog and 
ride. Definitely not. <laughs> well, I gotta get some cute shots of us. Maybe you'll have to do it on your phone. We have a fall. <laughs> what happened? I was trying to get on, but I wasn't tall enough. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many people saw that. So the thing about these bikes is they actually have like a little motor kick to them. So you pedal once and it goes boom. Whoa. <laughs> these bikes are what I would call unstable and I am vlog writing, which is probably illegal and unsafe. So see you at the Space Needle. We're oh, here. That is so, there's an elevator on the side of it. Oh my <laughs> God, right up there. I'm not gonna be well, I'm telling you right now. Oh, oh, well, don't people walk up the stairs? Oh, we're not doing that. In about 30 seconds, we will be at the highest level of the building. You'll have access to an outside deck going all the way around. That's this is so scary. I absolutely already hate this. I'm like so sick to my stomach yeah, already. Made my stomach hurt. I was like, and then it started shaking a little bit and I was oh, like yeah. right up next to the glass as you could see and ooh, ooh, I'm not good with heights. I'm hungry. Yikes, <laughs> this is really, well, it's, it just feels like we're in a plane. This is less uneasy than being in the elevator, but it's still like, not great. Oh gosh, ah, it makes my whole body shake. I mean, it's beautiful, but I hate it. Whoa, oh my God, it's but it's like a rush. I like actually can't even convince myself to stand on the glass area. I mean, of course it's stable, but it makes me want to die. This is literally like the Incredibles and then they all die. you off right in, in the, the mall, mall. Wow, which is they like... are strategic about this <laughs> okay we're checking into hotel number two in like i guess 24 hours and already this hotel feels uh way less haunted i don't feel spooked yet yeah not yet <laughs> <laughs> the other hotel was fine it just like was eerie there was something about it that well, felt yeah, haunted died there. <laughs> Ooh, 801 here we go hello and welcome to our new hotel room. <laughs> I am just walking in. You guys are walking in a oh, closet. Very mm, nice. Nothing in it. A full length mirror to check our fits. Oh gosh, we look rough after being out. Yeah, I don't know if we're checking any fits <laughs> out. Nice little coffee. Ooh, I like black and marble. This is so cute. Woo! Wow. We've got some sea views. And then if you come into the bedroom, Whoa. What is this? That is like the weirdest. It's called art. Get with it. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, this room is everything. Oh my God, we should like meet the Whoa. neighbors across the street and then make signs and we can communicate oh with them. Oh my gosh, we could just watch the neighbors live their lives. This is kind of weird that you can see into their house. Okay, fair wow. Well. wow. And it's so bright and happy in here. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Whoa, the whole world can see you take a bath right here. This is where the photos happen. Think about your life. Wow, yeah, this is the morning photo Whoa. shoot for sure. In the bathroom. Whoa, even the toilet has a view. <laughs> oh my god, no, look at I'm Why sure. would you want to sit on the toilet and watch other people? Well, that is so weird. Are you kidding me? I love this nice little toilet view. This is definitely an upgrade from the Holiday Inn. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not where we were staying. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, I took a nap, so did Morgan. We're both in our Seattle shirts. And now we're making uh, some- Espresso, which I learned sucks. I've never had it before. Nespresso. What's it called? Nespresso. He said espresso. No, espresso is the right term, but this specifically is Nespresso. So we're making our little- Teeny tiny cuppies. <laughs> Look at the Ferris wheel just showing off. Chasing the sun 
sunset, we're trying to get to a beach viewing point that's like 20 minutes away. I am so happy we made it here before this sunset. Is this is like the best neighborhood ever. I'm not impressed by much and I'm impressed. <laughs> this is honestly like magical. I feel like I'm gonna cry. Uh, <laughs> this is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look at the tears in my eyes. It's so beautiful. I've never seen it. I'm enlightened. I feel like Jesus just touched down and was like, boop. Okay, so we rode the bikes along, I guess, the shoreline, and now we have the most fantastic view of the city. It's actually insane. We should move here. Just us and our Seattle merch. Oh yeah, we're repping hard. We biked three and a half miles, if anyone was wondering. And now we're at this cute restaurant called Cactus. It is like so pretty. I'm getting a margarita. Oh yeah, we're gonna get lit on our last night of vacation. Our first and last night of vacation. Yep. Rounding out our 24 hour long vacation. Well, I guess it's good because you can eat bad on vacation because it's only one day. Yeah, it's a holiday weekend. In our Seattle merch, the waiter commented that we're both in Seattle tours. Yeah, he goes, Oh, you guys are both in your Seattle stuff, and we're like, Yeah, we're those people. Good morning, Seattle vlog day two. This is the end. I'm gonna stop vlogging soon because we're gonna go home. But I thought I would show you the view in the morning time. Oh my gosh, it is just so pretty here. Good morning. <laughs> We're gonna get breakfast and get on a plane. There's like this crazy gum wall that I hadn't actually ever seen before. Oh, but I've seen it... people talk about this on Instagram. So here we are. How much would you pay me to eat one of the gums off the wall? Oh my gosh, a hundred dollars. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> to go on the Ferris wheel, but it doesn't open till 10 and we have a flight to catch. Rude. Maybe next time, Seattle. Okay, we did it. Our trip is pretty much complete. This is a thick sandwich. I know, the last thing we needed was like unhealthy food, but it's really the only option. Yeah. They had salad house. Salad house, <laughs> no, they had noodle no. house. Noodle house, fish house, and burger house. <laughs> so we had to choose. We've already eaten so not great the last day and a half. Eat some more. Oh gosh, I do not need fries. I need the gym. Let me taste test one of these fries, they're so bad. Like hmm. Not great, but definitely edible. And just like that, all day of traveling later. Oh, it's so windy. We have made it back to the car. The car. Thank you, Jesus. All right, you guys, that is all I have for this week's video. Morgan made an appearance for the entrance, even though it is now like a week later, but I hope you guys enjoyed our Seattle vacation. Make sure you hit that uh, like button and subscribe, you guys. Up for honey. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. I love you very much. Goodbye. Ow! Oh.